Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you a fun fold idea called the gate fold. It's really a cool fold and there's so much you can do with it. I'm gonna use the Textured Chic Suite for this and I'm gonna show you some ideas that are fall. Also ideas using the same designer series paper that are Christmassy too. So let's get started. This is the whole suite. Comes with the dies, the designer series paper, the distressed gold specialty paper, and this season of chic stamp set. It's awesome to use this stamp set because it coordinates so well and it's all the seasons. So it can be used for birthdays and thank yous and thinking of you. So let me go ahead and start with our fun fold idea. I'm going to use our Stampin' trimmer and I've already cut this five and a quarter by 12. So I've just used that. Now I'm going to score and I'm going to start with a two inch piece right here of scoring and I'm going to do two and then I'm going to move it over to four then I'm going to move it over to eight and then ten those are the two four eight and ten okay and then I'm going to go ahead and fold those pieces or that one piece into this. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that back and this forward and on the other side this is going to go we're going to go ahead and go right to this fold and that's going to become into itself and then back again for this two inch. So we're making like an open like this. This is the center of your card. Okay, now I've got to decide this is going to show this fall paper side with the gold. I'm going to go ahead and cut from this score line down to here so you can decide oh if I want it three inches, if I want more DSP. I'm going to do two and a half inches on this so I'm going to put a little slash mark there and I'm going to do the same thing right here on this other side. Two and a half. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut it from here to that score mark, from this score mark to the slash. So I'm going to put my scoring blade or tool up there and where the little mark is to where it's folded. I'm going to go ahead and trim. So it's kind of like a triangle and from this score mark to that little hash mark I made at two and a half inches. And I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Then this becomes our gate fold. I'm going to go ahead and use my bone folder to really crease those creases because you want them crisp so they stay folded nicely. We're going to go adhere this on with our stamp and seal. This is evening evergreen cardstock that I'm putting this on to give it extra body, body for your card. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my stamping. So this is going to be right here on the card and this will be on the inside of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two pieces because they're going to kind of look similar. I'm going to take my pale papaya, soft succulent, evening evergreen. I'm going to take my basic white piece and this is three and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch square. And I'm going to take my pale papaya and stamp around the edge of this. I'm going to stamp off a couple times because I want that kind of look to be in there. And then I'm going to take one of the leaves right here and just use that soft succulent 
and just kind of make it kind of um, around the edge of it, both sides going both up and down. Okay, and now my evening evergreen is going to become the same of the inside because it's darker, so it will make it pop more. So I love this saying, it's, you make each season of life even more beautiful. There we go. So that's the inside of our card. The next piece of card stock is basic white and it's two and a half by three and a half. And we're gonna do the same thing with the pale papaya kind of in the background of this piece. I just love this. With this stamp set, it's got all these gorgeous um, background stamps. I think background stamps are just the coolest thing to have in any stamp set. It fills in your cardstock and it just gives texture to it. So that's the the look I'm looking for. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I went ahead and already pre-cut out some of our dies. And I have with the distressed gold, some of the leaves, because this is a fall card in the whisper or in the basic white and the soft succulent and the evening evergreen and distressed gold. So I wanna take this stamp, which is the background of those. And I'm gonna go ahead and take our soft succulent and just go ahead and stamp it over this and then stamp it off. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the evening evergreen, stamp it off because it's really dark and go ahead and stamp one of them. They almost are pretty close in color, but there is a hue off. I'm going to go ahead and stamp some leaves for the background of this. So I'm going to take soft succulent again, kind of make one up here and down here in the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a darker one, but stamp it off. Or maybe actually a, dar uh, a real dark one would actually look really good in the evening evergreen. Okay, now I'm gonna take these and build them for uh, our background. And I'm just gonna pop these up. Using dimensionals, I'm gonna use dimensionals to pop them up so they kind of stand out. On your card, I'm going to put it on the card stock of Evening Evergreen Piece. And it's just a quarter of an inch bigger than the, with the basic white. It's two and three-fourths by three and three-fourths. Now I'm taking the Distress Gold and I'm gonna put this right on top of it. Now you can go ahead and put a lot of adhesive on these if you want, or if you wanna kind of make them loose on there. Green glue will also work, the Tombow adhesive will work. So just whatever you decide to adhere them. I like to pop them up because that dimension gives them interest. And then we have a bunch of distressed gold, other leaves. I'm going to use the Tombow adhesive to put a couple of these in because you can kind of, if you decide you don't like where it's landing, you can move it. So I'm going to put this distressed gold piece right on top of the soft succulent stamped one. And it's okay if it doesn't match right up. It looks cool no matter what. There's two different shapes of these leaves right here. This one and this one. They're both different. And I like that about this suite is there's so many different pieces for you to create a different look of interest. Now we have one more soft succulent little leaf right here. And I'm going to put a dimensional on it kind of behind it because I'm going to cover it up with the saying. So we're just going to, let's see, do we want it there or there? I think I want it right here. So it's not going to matter right now that it shows. 
Okay, after this, I like to put the distressed gold specialty paper is a little over three inches. It's like three and a sixteenth by four inches. So it's a little bit bigger. The Distress Gold, just with this whole look of specialty paper, is amazing. So now we're going to take our gate card, and this is where this is going to go. And I want to go ahead and put this on before I put the saying on. So I know that this is the center line right here. So when I put my dimensionals on, I'm going to make sure I'm over to this side of that center line so I don't seal the what I'm doing. Now, I'm only putting these four right on right here, and I'll show you why here in a second. Now remember, this is the bottom of the piece, so I'm gonna flip it back over, and I'm going to make sure I've got it in the center of where I want it. Okay. Now, this, you don't want to adhere this side because this is going to open like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down and want to put a dimensional right there. So I'm going to grab a dimensional, put it down right there, and then I'll go ahead and adhere that down. It just gives it a little more support when you're opening it up to make sure and you know what? I didn't get that down far enough. So let me move that because I just put it on there. It should be fine. Let's try another one since that has the adhesive already on the DSP. This is not going to show, so you're okay. I'm going to open that up a little bit, put it down, and there you go. It's not showing but it's right there by that edge. Okay, let's go ahead and put our piece on the inside, our saying, and you've got some room to still sign your card. You can put the Distress Gold around this piece too. I'm gonna work with the saying, and this is the little saying I'm gonna stamp on this um, piece, and this is just a scratch piece of um, basic white because I'm using a punch. So wishing you the best birthday ever. Now this is the little punch. It's kind of like a postage stamp, but I want a little square area. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is because I'm, I'm doing this in a square area, I went ahead and stamped it and then I want to punch this down at the bottom of my um, punch and I'll show you why here in a second. Helps to have post-it notes on hand to be able to take something to maneuver it exactly how you want when you don't have a big enough piece of, of cardstock. It will help to keep it in the center. Okay, I went ahead and punched this. Now I've got all this extra right here that I don't really want on there. Take your post-it note and you can put it on the bottom like this or on the top. It doesn't really matter because you're just going to um, maneuver this like this. Okay, oops. Okay, I want it on the top because I want to be able to see where I'm punching it. So I'm going to go ahead and line up those little um, squiggles with where I want to punch it. So it's exactly square. So I'm just actually repunching the same spot. Now I'm going to take this little square that I made. It's going to go right there. So I'll put a couple dimensionals on it. And I'm just going to do it on the diagonal, the dimensionals, because I already have that one for the little leaf right there. So I'm going to put this right here. And there we have it. And I can add a ribbon right here if you'd like, but then you've got your gatefold idea. Here's one that I've already finished with the ribbon and 
gold sequins. These I would go ahead and add. They really look fantastic with that distressed gold. Now I'm going to show you some ideas done with that same chic suite of cards. I went ahead and used the thanks and made that background piece with a bunch of the stamps that go coordinate with the stamp set. The same thing with the summer theme using the shells and the DSP. I actually made this um, rectangle piece instead of a square piece and you can do that because if you noticed it actually on the diagonal it totally covers it up so that is an awesome idea too then I went ahead and said you know this isn't just for all seasons I'm going to use this for Christmas so let me show you what I did for the Christmas one piece at to you at Christmas that distress gold just gives it richness and here is the church stamp and even though it's got flowers on it I think it's gorgeous still then this has got the little snowflakes in the background and may God's hope and love shine on you this season so I think this whole DSP lends itself to the holiday and the all season. This is such a fun fold, the gate fold, and you can add your creativity to it and make it different ways if you'd like to. If you're interested in this product, click the links below. See you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.